This is Lakshmi. Today I am going to explain you how a blank values in a flat file source is replaced with the null values in the destination for source. So the destination. So this is how this is how does my flat file source is like first employee ID, employee name, employee department, employee salary, and these are this is the data like I have the one employee ID one name and the employee department and the salary. For the second row I have I don't have a name and I have only the department ID and no salary. And for the third third employee ID, I don't have the employee department. So this is the red values which we are in between. So there are no data or any junk values or like that. If that data is there, so in the in this the in this kind of data, how it is uh, uh, placed in a destination file. So the, for that I have a table in my destination like I have a database like student warehouse. Empl uh, this is the table like employee details table, employee ID, employee name, employee department and employee salary. I am selecting the data and I am executing the table. We don't have any data over here. Then I will go for a SSIS. Then I am going to create a new project. And I am selecting the integration services EMP2 employee 2 I am going to create a new project here first the control flow I am dragging and dropping the data flow task and double click on this here I am selecting the source file as a flat, flat file source as a source file okay this is how and I am right clicking and I am connecting a file manage connection new connection here flat file I am browsing I have this in on my desktop like employee 1 next these are the columns see this is the data we have some blank spaces over here like employee name employee salary here employee department like this is a some data with in which some values are in uh, some rows uh, values are not there okay so and now okay and the, my destination will be ADO net here if I now if I connect connection and I am going to connect this edit connection manager new one like already I have a connection manager I am going to remove this and again I am going to make a new one and here I have to copy paste my server name so here I will go for connection so this is control C. I am copying this server name and I am pasting over here. Mine is a SQL server authentication and I am giving a username and password. And now I am going to select the database as a student database warehouse and OK. So now if I select this, I will get the tables which are there in the database and these are the mappings. Okay, then if I execute now, what does it happen? We will see. See, the, now the data is not transferred because all the null values are there. So to do this, I am going to go flat file source, show advanced component properties here here we have retained null as false so I am going to do as a true and again if I execute now see all the data is transferred and now if you want to see here we will go for my database and uh, SQL server see there is the data which how we got as a null values so this is the one method in which we can do then the next thing if you want to other thing if you want to see here is I'm going to do flat file source I see now before I doesn't have this uh, uh, like what we said uh, uh, 
while uh, connecting this uh, flat file connection only we, if you select this retain null values from the source then this will be executed and what the other thing other thing we can go right click and go for uh, advanced properties and here if you want here if you go for a true otherwise if it is a false we can select so if if we give the false then the, it has executed like it has shown error message for us so this is how uh, so that null values is not transferred so again show advanced editor component properties select true okay now if you execute Oh, sorry, all the data is already there, so will not. I'm going to delete this, and I'm going to now. I'll run. Then it should work. See, the data is transferred. This is how the data is transferred when the values are in some uh, blank spaces are converted into the null values, and it is sure. Thank you, thank you for listening. If you like my video, please subscribe and share my video.